name's Ivan Kaplan. I'm the president of B'nai Brief New South Wales. And it is indeed, gives me great pleasure to, on behalf of B'nai Brief New South Wales to welcome you all here today for the opening of the Memories of Musenberg exhibition. As you can gather from my accent, I, like most of you, were, was born in South Africa and made Sydney our new home, in my case, some 28 years ago. I was born and bred in Johannesburg, and my memories of Musenberg go back to my early married life when I took my young family to Musenberg in the late 60s for my wife and my first visit to Cape Town. I'm afraid we were Durban people when I was a child. But I, 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 apologize, I apologize for that. I apologize for that. It was a necessity of fact when I was, grew up. We rented a home in a street near the pavilion, which I've just recognized on the map at the door, uh, for the month of March in that year. And it was certainly one of the most memorable holidays we ever spent as a family. For those of you unfamiliar with B'nai B'rith, the organization was formed in New York in 1843 and celebrated its 170th anniversary last year. It is the oldest Jewish organization in the world and today B'nai B'rith International is recognized as a vital voice in promoting Jewish unity and continuity, a staunch defender of the State of Israel, a tireless advocate on behalf of senior citizens and a leader in disaster relief. With a presence in more than 50 countries, including South Africa, B'nai B'rith is the leading global voice of the Jewish community worldwide. B'nai B'rith in Australia celebrates its 70th anniversary this year. And in the foyer of the center, you will find a series of banners depicting not only the history of B'nai B'rith in Australia, but more importantly, the current projects being undertaken by B'nai B'rith New South Wales. Please feel free to pursue the banners. And a number of B'nai B'rith members in our audience will be pleased to answer any questions you may have. As you will learn from the speakers to follow me, this exhibition has traversed the world. It started in South Africa, followed by Israel, London, and now Australia. There are a number of persons to thank for bringing this memorable exhibition to our center. Bringing the exhibition to Australia was the brainchild of Eli Rabinovitz, Eli Rabinovitz from Perth, standing there, who will be welcome here today. Vivian Rabomsky, the project manager of B'nai B'rith New South Wales, and her memories of Musenberg team, and certainly deserves a clap, have worked tirelessly to set up this exhibition. And, it, and in the most informative and enjoyable way possible. It is difficult to comprehend the work that it takes to set up an exhibition such as you see today. It started with arranging the transportation from Melbourne of the exhibits in a wooden crate weighing some 350 kilograms. If you went through our garage, you'll see it sitting there in a corner and setting up the panels designed by the curator, Joy Cropman, who lives in Krugersdorp, is that correct? Clarksdorp, excuse me, Clarksdorp, South Africa. Call Hakavod to all of you. In conclusion, I would like to thank those amongst you who have donated generously to making this exhibition the success it will no doubt be. Hopefully, I have included everyone. The persons in particular who were responsible are Roger and Judy Kay, Colin Resnick, Jonathan Pinshaw family, Stanley Frank, Brenda Coburn, Barbara Kaplan family, Brian Schwartz and Brian and Arlene Schwartz, and Lucille Sher. Thank you. I now call on Eli, who will address you. Thank you, Ivan and the neighbors and everyone for attending. Given strict instructions to get through this. Um, the first thing is, I would like to give you a message from Joy Cropman, the curator of Memories of the Musenberg Exhibition. Um, and this is a message to all of us. Dear Australian friends of Musenberg, 
How remarkable that what started out as a request to portray memories about the seaside holidays in Musenberg has grown into a popular exhibition that has traveled from Cape Town to Johannesburg to Israel, England, Australia, attracting crowds wherever it's been shown. How amazing that so many people share our warm memories of the summers they spent there. White sands, holiday romances, the crowded snake park or pit depending where you come from, sunburn, blue bottles, and bopping on the bandstand. The Musenberg Exhibition Committee is thrilled to know that the results of the efforts of collecting memorabilia and photographs and sourced from family albums, libraries, and newspapers, and the careful planning and design of exhibits will now be shown in another seaside resort on the other side of the world. Of course, no exhibition can be totally comprehensive, nor can we display every brownie box photo sent in of bathing bells and bikinis, now battling middle-aged spread. That's very lucky. Um, however, as you wander between the panels, you may recognize people you knew and may recall with sadness other acquaintances no longer with us. This afternoon is thus a tribute to our collective past of Musenbergers, to the stream of holiday makers that invaded Musenberg and brought it alive for six weeks each year. Fashions change and the youth today frequent other beaches, but we hope that this exhibition of previous holidays will remain imprinted in your mind and remind you once again of a memorable time spent in a lovely seaside resort. We hope you will enjoy this nostalgic exhibition sewn together with love and dedication over many months in an attempt to capture the document of memories of Musenberg. Together with my dedicated Musenberg team, I would like to thank Bene Britt New South Wales for housing the exhibition, as well as Vivian Radomski and her team for their hard work in setting up the organization of the exhibition. In particular, I would like to express our gratitude to the regional sponsors in South Africa, Stonehawk, who enabled us to produce this memorable exhibition. Our warm greetings and best wishes for a successful run in Sydney. So, can we applaud her? So, I have a few comments on my own. I'm not going to ad lib except to say that um, I'm a Cape Townian by birth, but a sea pointer, not a Musenberger. And this is the first time that I've actually seen the exhibition. So, I have my own comments and they are as follows. The Memories of Musenberg Exhibition is about our heritage, our connections and our legacy, a reminder of our roots. We are here to share the memories with our family and friends, our children and grandchildren. Musenberg is about the culture that our Litvak parents and grandparents passed on to us, the foundation of our current lifestyles. Musenberg was the most outstanding icon of this Litva culture transplanted into a world far away from Plunyan, Ponovo, Shavl, Kupicic, and Dvinsk. Memories eventually fade with the next generation if we do not preserve them and share them with our children and grandchildren. It is very possible that our great-grandchildren will never hear about Musenberg. On the other hand, Zoe Rabinowitz, who's in the back row there, and she looks like this, okay? Zoe Ribbonwitz, all of seven months, and here today, has been to Musenberg and will be able to tell and continue the Musenberg connection many years after we have departed. Now that is what heritage and legacy is all about. We have all set an excellent example to our fellow Australians, showing how proud we are of our lit back heritage. Community projects such as the Memories of Musenberg have been well supported and we strive to bring you more. We now have a dedicated link, Kahila Link website for Musenberg, which features many in-depth stories, photos and videos, including memoirs of the locals and accounts of the Musenberg Jewish community. All you have to do is Google Musenberg Kahila. Musenberg re represents one layer of our heritage. There are now new opportunities to discover our roots even further to Lithuania and Latvia themselves. Digitizing of family records by genealogists, as well as people visiting and writing about their Litvak experience, are opening doors to our understanding of how our families lived in an old country. 
and now we're making easy easier than ever before to visit places that we have our roots. In August, I'll be leading and organizing an extensive heritage roots tour in conjunction with FBI travel, specifically aimed at Litvaks. We'll be visiting many of the shtetls and towns, such as Plunyan, Ponovo, Shavo, Kupchik, and Vinsk, the home for many of South African Litvaks. There is also a pre-tour to Poland for the Polacks. Come chat to me later, I've got some brochures and thanks to Ivan and the Bernay Brit uh, New South Wales Committee, we will have an information evening here on the 31st of March, which is a Monday evening at 7.30 and you're all welcome to attend and we will let you know further. Yes. So thank you again to Bernay Brit for hosting this, to you for supporting the memories of Musenberg. Thank you and enjoy. Hi, I'm going to say a few words and then I'm going to hand you over to the real Musenberger. Um, welcome, my glasses on. welcome to the Bene Brit, to Bene Brit and the Memories of Musenberg exhibition. Um, I would just like to acknowledge the people who made this exhibition possible. Possible. The first one is Eli Rabinovitz, who brought the exhibition to Australia. Our sponsors who so generously donated both money and goodies, mentioned already by Ivan, but also we have an acknowledgement panel at the back. So thank you. And then our Musenberg committee, who were involved the whole way through and worked late last Tuesday night to put the panels up. Without everyone, this would not have been possible. Ivan Kaplan, the president of the neighbors, Diana Leifer, our past president, Jack Finkelstein, Jennifer Herman, Alan Herman, Stan Frank, Annette Falkoff, Lucille Scher, Louise Chain, and our neighbor staff. And now, finally, I'd like to present to you one of our real news and burgers. Can I stop you? Yes. Something I need to Don't move. I would like to take this opportunity of presenting the small token of appreciation to Vivian from the Benadry Council and her team of Memories of Musenberg for the extraordinary effort and work she put into this exhibition. I cannot count the hours she spent and the sleepless hours, particularly when the box wouldn't arrive from Melbourne and got stuck there, but that's another story. Vivian, please enjoy.